Today we are doing the red cabbage salad. We took a can of chickpeas, we drained the water and we washed it out with cold water. We put in a baking tray and on the chickpeas, I add three tablespoons of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of dry garlic, a half a teaspoon of uh, dry onion, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of sea salt. And right on the side of the bacon tray, I put a scallions. And on the top of the scallions, the only thing I did is uh, I put the two tablespoons of olive oil and I baked it in an oven uh, for 30 minutes. And I preheated the oven uh, 350. I cut a red cabbage. There were three carrots, clean the carrots. I shred them and I put it in a, all in a bowl. And the apples, I wash them with water. Then I slice them, dice apples. Then I wet it for the chickpeas to be cooked. So that way they almost taste like croutons with the scallions. I put them inside the refrigerator to cool down. So another 30 minutes. And after the chickpeas and the scallions, they cool down. I put the chickpeas on the top of the salad. And what I did, I took the scallions and I chopped them up. I put them on the top of the salad also. And I add to the salad uh, one third of uh, apple vinegar and a half a cup of olive oil and a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Then I just gave it a nice mix. You have a beautiful red cabbage salad. You know, I really enjoyed the salad because it's, um, every now and then you bite into an apple and it's like a bit of excitement. And then it, it's um, not overly sweet, it's well balanced. I enjoyed the cabbage, I enjoyed the flavor of the, the garlic. And a little hint of cayenne, it was awesome. It's awesome. I mean, the thing is you gotta realize the ingredients we use, it was the green cabbage, then you have carrots, then you have the apples. And what I did with the chickpeas, I baked them. And you know what another thing you have to realize? We didn't put any sweetener in this salad. No sugar, no honey. And it is very refreshing. Another great meal. Good energy every day.